Hi guys, I'm back again. Arsenal 2, Swansea 2, or better yet, Arsenal's under 23s 2. Their Swansea counterparts the same scoreline. Um, yeah, it was a it was a eventful game, eventful evening at Boreham Woods Training Ground. It was a really eventful game, to be fair with you. Um, before I get into it, Amici's a bad boy footballer. Amici, Uno Emre, come on, man. I know he's just come back from injury. I know he's only 18, but come on, man. This guy has to make his debut um, in some competition, whether it's Europa League or the Premier League before the end of the season, and needs to be integrated into the first team at some capacity, man. The man's a bad boy footballer. I think he was quiet in the first half, to be fair. He threatened here and there with Saka, but second half, listen, we'll get on to that. But yeah, going into the game... We just need to win. Our under-18s won at the weekend. We need our guys to win at the weekend again. I mean, win win on the Monday again. We've got things to do. So, yeah, I'd say... Do you know what? Credit where due to Swansea, man. Swansea were, the better, Swansea were the better team in it for me, if I'm completely honest with you. Swansea, at least in the first half, first 20 minutes, we really couldn't get out of our half. I know Ilev had to make a couple of good saves. They were slicing us open. For me, we just really couldn't get onto the ball. I feel our wingers were out of the game. I wanted our full-backs to offer a bit more offensively. I feel our defenders were definitely at sixes and sevens um, for the goal we conceded and just in general. And um. I feel our midfielders, our men in the middle, in, in Gilmore, Schaaf, and not not to name drop because everyone was in it, but I don't feel they, they really would, were stamping their authority on the game, dictating the tempo, doing the stuff I know they can do and have been seeing them do. We was just chasing, we was chasing a lot of shadows, to be fair. We had to do a lot of defending um, early on. Fair enough, Pegli also was playing left back. That's not his natural position. It looked like Swansea realised this or whether the coach or whatever told them this. They were hitting balls in behind them. It's like they were specifically targeting that, and I did think um, there there would there would be an issue in 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 regards to that. I just felt we was really really anonymous, essentially. People like really really anonymous. Like I don't feel John Jules could get into the game. I don't feel Amici and Saka could get into the game. Our midfield were chasing shadows. Keeper made some good saves as well, but I feel it was all it was really really all Swansea, bar the occasional half chances. Um, to be fair, from 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 Arsenal, twenty five minutes. It took us about twenty five minutes, if I remember correctly, to get our first corner, or for me to see some sustained keep ball sort of thing from our from our players. I did feel as well that um, we, we both teams were probably giving away cheap fouls. But that being said, I feel the ref at times could have let the game play, and he was kind of killing the flow of the game, killing the tempo of the game, and not really allow it. You know when you can just allow it to continue. I don't feel he was doing it. If I haven't, if I forget people, the ref actually came off injured in the first half. It was quite an eventful game. There's about eight minutes added on time. But um, yeah, I feel Ilev made some big saves for us um, coming off his line and just, just little little things to put people off, to be fair, man. Um, there was an incident in the 31st minute. Pegli also, you've got, you can't do that at professional level, in first team level. He's he's in the left back position. He play, he turns around and he plays. A, he's kind of looking at the floor from what I could, what I saw of it. He plays a pass back to his goalie. It's a blind pass, inches away from being intercepted from a Swansea player. It's that sort of stuff you can't afford to do. You need to be concentrated. Um, Last twenty minutes, I feel we were st last twenty minutes of the first half. We were we were playing better, but I feel they were all over us, man. I, to to score their goal, what this was in added on forty five minutes now, so technically just added on time in the first half. Sloppy goal from us to concede, man. There was in the build up to it, there was just a catalogue of errors, man. All our all that back line was at sixes and sevens for the goal they conceded. It's essentially just a long ball into that area, and we failed to deal with it. As Swansea man's able to pounce on it, and they got one nil ahead, and. To be fair with you, I feel Swansea's finishing probably let them down and didn't have a lot of clear-cut chances. But in terms of possession, playing balls in behind and just starting off the game, you can't say they didn't deserve to be 1-0 ahead. They were better than us in the first half, I believe. And the goal's well-deserved, to be fair with you. Bit disappointing to concede shortly after. I think it's Colin, Swansea's Colin, he scored a free kick. It was a lovely free kick. Um, I think Gilmore gave away the foul. It's a soft foul. I was looking at the ref thinking, how is that a foul? That is the softest foul. But it's a free kick. I do think for all the much, much I've been praising, eleven, I feel it was poor keeping for the second goal, the free kick, because you could see it. They had two men over the free kick, a left foot and a right foot. There's only one option because of where it is. It's on the edge of the semicircle, more or less. Far post, his far post. His le it would be the keeper's left-hand side if you was watching it, our right-hand side. 
you could see it. You could see it, didn't it? it actually, I actually thought um, either player could strike it and score. All they had to do is hit the target. It's like, as a keeper, if you can imagine his area is there and he's over here as a keeper eyeing it up, you could see it. Like, you could see he's going to hit it into that area. And I mean, Ilev is 24 years of age now. Should probably know better than that. He, he, all the man has to do is get on the target. Get hit the target and that's all he did and it goes in the back of the net Ilev left himself with too much to do he's too much ground to cover from one side to the other um, maybe he was more focused about the wall but either way it's 2-0 two, two quick fire goals that we've conceded and to be fair two cheap goals man I don't feel that it should have been a free kick for the second goal the first one we let ourselves down but Swansea deserve to be ahead we've let ourselves down and at half time we've given ourselves a mountain to climb people if I'm completely honest if I'm completely honest with you. Like I said, we've struck the main issues for me is we've really struggled to play how Arsenal have been playing at this level for a while now. I mean our midfielders, they can do stuff on the ball, they've got a lot of ability, they weren't there. Amici and Saka, I believe they're ballers, but they were if I'm honest with you, they were quite anonymous in the first half, especially Saka. Um didn't really have much joy apart from the half chances. Strikers couldn't get into the game, our fullbacks didn't go forward and do what they normally do. It was just a sloppy team performance essentially. So you knew second half we've got a we've got a come back on job. We've got to come out there and be serious. And I must admit, second half, man to a man. Seeing a turnaround, Swansea are still in it in my opinion, but I feel we're starting to dominate. Gilmore's dictating, Shafe doing his thing, the fullbacks are starting to support. Um, I'll say Tutu's getting up and down, especially. Um, uh, uh, Amici is the man of the match for me. Amici's burning my man on the right hand side. In fact, that left back must have been stressed because our goal we'll get onto that came from that essentially, but. Amici's burning people at will, man. He's just dribbling past, putting lovely balls in. They're not really being being well. They aren't because no one scored. They're not. Nobody's really following it in or paying attention. Saka's woken up. We're being ballers now. Like we're playing out from the back, playing some good stuff. I feel we finally woken up. Took us a while, but we've woken up now. We're here for it. We're we're ready, sort of thing. Um, do you get it, people? And we're having half chances. I mean, there was like I said, Amici was balling out, man. There was two free kicks. Um, in the second half, one just wide of the post and one just over the bar. I mean, that guy's a lovely footballer, man. And Bayern Munich allegedly there was a lot of scouts at watching um watching our players versus Bo um watching our players versus Swansea at Boreham Wood. Um, and Amici's probably one day eyeing up, man. This guy's a baller. Like he's, a, I can't understand how he hasn't had his debut for first team or had a look in yet. I know he's had his injury. But um, he's someone I'm looking at, man. And like I said, man, to be honest, I'm very confident we'll score. I'm not confident that we'll turn it around or win, even though we're looking at it, purely because we've left ourselves with a mountain to climb people. I'm just trying to hope for a draw, damage limitation sort of thing. And as the game is dying on, literally in the last 10 minutes, we've scored two goals, essentially, people. We deserved it. I feel Balogun, when he came on the pitch, he was on job. His movement, the way he was working, the channels was very well, we, um, worked very well. And his goal comes from the right hand side. Um, I think Ose Tutu played in the ball. I can't remember. It's like him. Um, he stands up the fullback. He's playing like he's like he's got his back to the fullback. As the ball comes in, he's dumb. He's dummied it. Um, he's let. It, he's not made himself. He's dummied it. Um, and he's gone around. He's gone around the fullback. The fullback has no clue. He's cutting off the right hand side. He's got past one man. And I cannot remember rightly. It looked like there was a slight deflection, but it was a good goal, man. I was just applauding. I was like, listen. Balogun are fresh after scoring a hat trick on Saturday. You're on this thing, and Balogun obviously he's in the thoughts of the under twenty three boss because he's come off the bench. But now he's doing everything he can to deserve to start there, and it's going to be a good battle between him and Tyrese John Jules, who's working his way back from injury and who came off because he, I assume, because he's been playing on Saturday. It's a good race for who will become that number one striker. Obviously, it's Eddie and Kerr at the moment. If he, if they were all to um be considered but it's a good little race people it's a brilliant goal the only thing is 2-1 and for as good as it goal it is as good as of a goal it was sorry people for as much as I'm liking how we're playing and we're turning around again Amici in particular is dominating for me it's only 2-1 and we're still not going to walk away with anything so literally a couple moments later we make it 2-2 people and I must admit very for, for, fortunate as they would put it circumstances for it can't remember who plays in the ball but Tony I can never say his name um, he chases it down down the right hand side it's literally uh, what is even that line the goal line and then it's like you know where the, it, it's in the area that's the best way to describe it it's a tight angle in the area it's poor defending and poor keeping he really shouldn't be able to squeeze that goal in I'm happy because it's an Arsenal 
it's an Arsenal thing. I'm happy because Nathan Tony Turney, I can never say his name, showed some lovely determination to get there. But it's a sloppy goal to concede from Swansea. And to be honest, we were poor in the first half, they were poor in the second half, and we did well to fight back. They've shot themselves in the foot because they've dropped all three points in stupid circumstances, really and truly. Um, but looking back at it, both goals that we scored were very poor goals because as much as I think that Balogun's, it was a lovely solo effort from him and good bit of play and showed his quality, to a, it was too easy for him to beat that fullback and too easy for him to fashion a shot. Either way, we'll take that. It's two. It's two two. Um, at this moment in time, I believe a Swansea man in the eighty seventh minute. Can't remember exactly what happened. I think it was another challenge, a second yellow. I can't even remember because the game was so. Drop my pen, but the game was so. Just mad people. Um, they got they had a man sent off. So to drop three points, have a man sent off, finish it with nine men is pretty sad for Swansea from an Arsenal fan perspective. Amici's a, a bloody baller, man. I, do you know what? I'm never going to praise Amici no more. It's, it's, it's like Saka and, and Nelson now. It's got to the point. It's, it's silly, isn't it? Like, them and they are ridiculously good. Like, for me, Amici, again, he's not the finished article. But considering how some players have played within this first team, considering he has directly what we lack in the first team, between now and next season, he needs to be integrated. He's 19 next January. He is past under 23 football. When he turns it on, it's a madness. The consistency is there. The goals are there. The hunger is there. He needs to be tested. Under 23 football is not testing him. It's not testing him. He's a baller, people. Like I said, man, the free. I, they were just, I think it was the first free kick. The one, the first free kick was the one that skimmed wide. I thought he'd done it, you know, people. I really thought he'd done it. Um, of course, we did have some opportunities to get a third and. We actually could have conceded just before we scored the second. I thought we could have conceded because um, they they were hitting us on the counter. But at the end of the day, it shows good fight back from our lads to keep believing they can do it, keep showing desire. Very impressed with Amici, man of the match for me. Um, if it wasn't him, Balogun, on the basis of how he came off the bench, the runs he was making into the channels, I feel he was very well. He played very well, but... Good fight back from the boys. Lovely to see. And you lot know I like young young players, and especially the Arsenal ones. It was a joy to watch um, us versus Norwich. It was a joy to watch us versus Swansea. And I think our under-18s have Chelsea this week. And I think our 23s next Monday um, have... Uh, I think it's Everton, you know. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Don't quote me. But if you, if you want to check yourself, just go on Premier League. Just go on the Premier League website. Just go on PL2 or the under-18s. It will tell you all the fixtures and all the results. So you can do your own mix... Um, exploring for now though people that's my review done like i said arsenal to swansea to, um yeah arsenal to swansea to i thought i said arsenal twice there i'm out people to be fair with you and yeah it was an eventful game red cards comebacks quick fire goals for both teams um ref had to get subbed because he um in the first half because he got injured which caused a delay felt there was a lot of delays in the first half anyways but yeah man it was a good game and yeah it is what it is we fought back um on that note, though, people, deluded, comment, subscribe, and do the rest if you wish. I'm out.